Yeah, we're trying to encourage the council to make more allotment space available for people to grow their own food, um, to encourage a bit more self-sufficiency and the, all the general sort of health impacts that that might have in terms of exercise and um, getting out and about. Eating more fruit and veg. Um, so we're talking to the council about clearing some unused allotments at the moment and to maybe divide them up a little bit to allow more people to, to have some space. And there's a big demand, isn't there? Because uh, there's really long waiting lists. So I guess people in Buxton tend to have really small backyards, mm. if any, land at all. Yeah. So there's a real need in Buxton <laughs> compared to maybe some other towns where people have bigger gardens for as much allotment space as possible. But uh, what, what can be done, because there, there doesn't seem to be that much uh, you know, land available, what, uh, how, how are you dealing with this? Well, there are unused spaces, unused allot allotments at the moment, so they really ought to be being brought back into use. That's one, uh, one way. Um, people on the waiting list um, start out with masses of enthusiasm and then realise that maybe they haven't got the time it seems like um, a huge task and um, and they lose enthusiasm or you know don't get as far as they hoped in the first season um, either because it was in too bad a state oh, well. at the mm. outset or because it's too big a plot uh, for people with busy working lives okay. um, so that's why you know we want to try and um, the, the improve the state that people can take them on in and um, carve them up a little bit Okay. so that people have got more manageable sized plots to work with. Well, localism in terms of food we think is a useful idea in terms of reducing our dependence on fossil fuels because it means that uh, if we can get food grown locally and supplied locally it reduces the, uh, the food miles, if you like, the, mm -hmm. the energy that's gone into moving the food around to get it to our plates. So. Localism involves getting people to grow in their own gardens, that's the shortest possible um, distance between growing and plate, um, otherwise improving connections with the local businesses that are growing and producing food, um, so that we're not perhaps importing potatoes from Egypt or um, mm. those kinds of examples. Yeah, thinking about where their food has come from a little bit more, and, uh, you know, we're quite, quite Capable of growing garlic in, in yeah, Boston. Yeah. In fact, well, it does really well. You know, it does really it does well. So, really and also, apples is a good case in point, isn't yeah. it? Because um, when you try and buy apples from the supermarket, the number of varieties is extremely limited, which is one thing. Um, but um, they are flown in from South Africa, New, New Zealand. New Zealand is yeah. Like the furthest distance, I guess, yeah. you, can, you can make from, from Britain, isn't it? Which is bonkers, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's just a bit crazy. I mean, it raises the issue of seasonality as well, because there are, you know, a lot of things are clearly seasonal. In the summer, autumn time, we have a lot of food. Um, we do have to kind of adjust our diet, I think, really, to uh, take account of the seasons a bit more and not expect to have apples in March or April. Um, perhaps adjust their diet a little bit more. It's like that, you know, that well-known phrase, you need to think global and then you need to act local. So Food Group is all about getting people in touch with where their food comes from um, and growing more of their own food and growing and producing and eating food in a way that's more sustainable. <laughs>